So you guys said it was your first time here in England and in London in general. Is there any sites you want to see before you leave? Yeah, there are a few actually. I want to go to um, what's that? Oxford Street, mm -hmm. uh, Leicester Square, Trafalgar Square, stuff like that. London Zoo. Yeah, yeah the zoo. Yeah, lots of museums. Can. Okay. Which museum do you think? Any. We like to go. Like, we like we like to go everywhere basically. Yeah. Wherever we can. Maybe take those day trips. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we want to watch a musical before we leave. One of the musicals that are running. Like, do you get a tour bus? Like, talk me through how you're going to get around from place to place this time. Well, we're going to get a caravan. So it's going to have two bands in it. And yeah, that's how we'll be moving around. Is that how you used to move around before? No. no it's going to be the first time how moving around in a caravan. How was it before? Oh, you catch, catch, you catch a, flight. a flight or you catch a train. Yeah. And you go to the city. You spend a day there. You get put up at a hotel. Or hotel, something. yeah. You play the gig and probably spend the night there or something, or maybe just come back the same night. How do you think it'll be like in a caravan with a band, like another band sharing it? Should be all right. All right. Should be fun. Should be fun. Yeah. Fun. Exactly. Do you think you guys will get along or? No, we've met them. We do get along, yeah. so it's all right. So be fine. Yeah. No fights breaking out. No, no, no. <laughs> you wouldn't like to do that, right? Yeah. An eight-member band. Yeah, They'll kill us. <laughs> Are there any places around the world you really want to tour or see? It's too many, yeah, I think. Too many. Too many. All of them, yeah. We'd like to go to Japan. We'd like to go to yeah. Germany. It's top priority. Mexico. And what else? Maybe yeah, LA, New York. Anywhere. Yeah, New York. Anywhere. Anywhere. wants to go to New York. So you get... Guys have been together for four years. Have you ever had any like strange experiences on stage or any embarrassing moments? Is there funny stories you could tell us about. On stage, uh, you know, laptop stops sometimes. Oh yeah, that's yeah, happened uh, way too many times. Not uh, funny. Uh, it's not funny, funny. But it's just strange thing. Like, you know, like <laughs> sometimes it just stops for a few reasons. Oh, like what? Any in particular? We didn't hook up the charger. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So how did that end out? <laughs> end up? It's not too bad, but yeah. Pretty bad, actually. <laughs> and how did you guys all get into music? How did it all start for you? I think we were all, always into music, you know? but even before we met, we used to all do something. And did you study something different at college or anything? Study something different, as it? Yeah, did you study music or...? No, no, no. no, no, no. Well, what, what did you guys study? Uh, we studied English literature. And, you know, I studied music. <clears throat> I left my college, high school for that. So I studied Trinity College, fifth grade, writing and reading, whatever. Then drums, I learned my own, and some couple of friends I have in Bombay. So we all shared the drumming club, that. Is it something you knew you always wanted to do? Yeah, it's the same, like what I wanted to do. Uh, and for you guys, how did you make the switch, or did you always want to go into music and English was kind of a cover-up? Yeah. yeah, English was just like, you had to do something, so mm -hmm. that was the best option. And what about your parents? What does everyone think of your career choice? They're fine with it. Mm -hmm. yeah, no problems right. in family. So why choose music over, let's say, literature? Why sing it rather than write it for you? Because it's a lot more than just writing it then, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think it takes it to a new level? Yeah. yeah it works yeah, on yeah. some more levels, I guess. Yeah. Music a lot more us. levels. Does it really, do you feel like you express yourself more through music? Does it really? Oh. Uh, yeah, it makes more sense. I mean, it makes a lot more sense if I, if I, if those words were just written down and I was just, I just sort of took a loudspeaker and started screaming it all over Bombay. It makes a lot more sense to, you know, sing those, those things and have, have good music along with it for them to be what they are. And before you mentioned you saw the music scene changing in Bombay in particular, mm -hmm. can you tell me like how it's changed in the past few years and what you think it's going to be like in the future for you guys? Well, there, there are a lot more places now where you can play at, and, and many different kinds of music. Yeah, that's like the best part. A few People years ago, it, was, it was mostly just metal and stuff like that. So now you get to hear a lot more 
local sounds. Metal. Yeah. yeah. That's what it was, say, four years ago. That was yeah. all that was happening. Man. Now you have alternative bands, you have a lot of electronic artists, so different kinds of music, a lot of experimentation, yeah. sort of yeah. growing. The number of live venues that are there in the city, across all the all, all the major cities are growing like growing at a very rapid pace, you know. So that that usually helps it a lot. Helps, yeah, yeah. The scene grow as well, and you know, a lot more bands want to make music, a lot more people want to make music, learn music, do something with it. Yeah, so. It has that affected you guys? Have you noticed a lot more places to play, or have you booked more shows, more fans? You could say. Yeah, it has, it has, it has sort of grown over the past few years. Like, what would be the old ideal place for Bombay to look like for you guys for the music scene? Do you want it to grow into an industry where there are like major labels you can get signed and tour within? Mm. I think what we'd like to look at is a lot, lot more places to play at. I mean, which are open to all kinds of music, where people can just people can go and. You know, just just play their music. It could be anyhow. It could be playing it through a CD player, the music they've composed at home, or you know, a ten-piece band, whatever. But just just a lot of places where people can really go play music and you know have a lot of other people just come watch and have a good time, and rest can all follow, I guess. <laughs>